What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video I'm really excited about because as you all probably know, um, if you follow me on Instagram, <laughs> I have been in kind of a state of just kind of organizing my whole entire life along with my house. Um, giving you a little sneak peek here, this video is going to be about, obviously you see from the title, is me getting my life together and organizing everything. So about a month ago, the whole month of February, I was traveling the whole entire time. Um, I, I think I was maybe home for five days out of the whole, all 29 days. And so, you know when you're traveling, you're doing a lot of stuff, you're in and out, you're packing and unpacking and unpacking again and unpacking. And for me, like, things just started kind of like piling up like I just clothes and life just kept like piling it up and I know for me like when my life is hectic and I don't have some type of stability um my mental health is just not good at all in February it just kind of my mental health was all over the place I just didn't feel secure I didn't feel like I had any control and you could tell that by the way my house looks so I just decided you know what I'm going to take steps to get my house like once my house is set I feel like a lot of other things will come in order um, and so that's just kind of what I did um, I, it's more so like a story time I guess because I filmed my process um all together and i'm not gonna lie like i really i personally didn't do a lot and i think that's a big part about my story and how i handle mental health is being able to delegate certain situations in life um we don't have to if we have the means if we're if we're able to there are a lot of things that we don't have to uh, stress ourselves out with um when it gets out of control now the steps that i took in this video are steps that were major like it was like last resort last resort hail mary <laughs> this is like the last thing i could possibly do before i actually like absolutely go crazy um and so i just decided to delegate i decided to use these resources that i'm blessed enough to have and i know that some people are going to be like well we so a lot of us don't have that opportunity and i 100 percent understand that um and i'm not saying that you have to do this at all like, this is something that you have to do but it's something that i decided to do because i wanted i feel like this would get me to where i wanted to be just a disclaimer um so yeah i just decided to use resources i decided to use companies um that thrive off of making life easier for people um and so so yeah make sure you guys stick around um because there's going to be a giveaway in this video um at the end so make sure you stick around and watch so you can be a part of the giveaway and so without further ado we're gonna get into the video story time um and this is where i start talking to you guys about why i'm doing what i'm doing me setting on my camera is pretty much goes hand in hand as to why I'm making this video in the first place because I cannot find my actual vlogging camera to save my life and which makes total sense because this video obviously is about how I the steps I'm taking to declutter my life and to get this house back into order right excuse me right <coughs> bless you anyways um I'm pretty, this is going to be a story time video anyway, so you guys already know why I'm recording this. But this is the first step um, for me getting this, my life organized. I think now, since we've decided to continue living in a place for longer than a year. Whoa. Um, I'm really wanting to get serious about, you know, getting everything organized and optimizing the space that we have. Uh, but leading into this time, this not time well just basically the last month of our lives has been absolutely insane we've been all over the country kind of just all builds up and so it really got to a point where I just felt like I my life's out of out of control my mom always told me that your room slash house is a representation of how your life is like in general so if your room slash your house is a mess then odds are the rest of your life is a mess. And I 100% agree with that. I always agreed with that. Um, so yeah, everything's just a mess right now, but we're getting it back into order. And the first thing that we've decided to do is send off all of our laundry and stuff to someone else to do it. 
because I just can't. I can't be bothered with it. It's just like weights. Like every time I look at it or I looked at it, I just got overwhelmed. And that's just like with dirty stuff. We have even more clean stuff that's upstairs that uh, one needs to put, either either one needs to be put away or two we need to get rid of because we're not wearing or anything anymore. And so um, right now my goal is just to get all the dirty stuff out and have someone else wash, fold, clean it for us. And then that way we can just start dealing with the stuff that's clean, but need to find a place for some, or whatever. So these clothes will be gone for, I think like four days. It's so much stuff. We've got one bag, two, three, four, five, six. We have six bags of dirty laundry, which makes sense because we haven't really been here. So it's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get this sent off. So this is the first step in getting my life organized in our life, our house organized. Cause I feel like his life's pretty organized, right? Yeah. Your life is pretty organized. Yeah, it is what it is. That's not answering my question. Okay, so after we sent off the clothes to get organized, they actually came back a lot faster than what we thought. Um, <laughs> We got back like two days later. We used um, Rinse. None of this, the video is not sponsored at all. Um, I will link Rinse in the description box if you want to try it if you're living in the Bay Area. Um, I just went on Google and looked up like laundry services in my area. And so I just found them and they re did really well. But we still didn't have anywhere to put all these clothes because I just <laughs> overwhelmed. It was like the clothes left. I thought I was gonna be like done with like rid of them for at least a little while like a week No, they came back like two days later. So I was like, well, here we are again. I have nowhere to put them I don't know what's going on um, So then we decided to go get go get a storage facility to start clearing out some space um, In the house and put stuff that we're not using clothes. That we're not wearing into the storage space. So here's next What's up guys? So Updating you all on operation get organized you look at me like that. So you can go to sleep? Yeah, that's what I thought. I think. <laughs> Updating you all on Operation Getting Organized. Um, it is currently, what's today's date? March 4th. So I think the last time I talked to you guys, we were getting our stuff ready to send off, like our clothes ready to send off to. Uh, laundry service because we were just overwhelmed with that so I just sent them off to have them clean it. We did get them back. Um, we have not put them away yet because this week in like two days we're having people come and organize our whole house. So um, super super exciting. I'm really excited just to like have someone c come in here and just create a system for us because it's kind of what we need. Um, so I'll show you kind of the house is a mess. Just remember, it has to get worse to get better. So, it's definitely doing that. Um, so, here are our clothes that we got washed for us. Again, they are been sitting here for like a week because we haven't put them away yet because we don't want to put... I don't really... I just feel like no point in putting stuff away if people are just going to come in and take it all out. So, I'm having... I'm going to wait. We just got a bunch of orders or like packages from... <laughs> drink companies apparently we really like drinks in this household hold so we have like body armor spin drift and topo chico all here um and so we have been in the garage kind of clearing this whole back section out we just um got a storage a storage uh like room so sorry i'm like i'm just i'm, I'm excited because we're getting things in order but it's also a bit um overwhelming just because like we have so much stuff to do but uh, let me just relax and talk to you guys. So we got a storage unit and we're basically gonna take, um, there really isn't that much stuff that we're taking over to the storage unit because we, after like going through everything, you kind of realize that it's all junk anyways and like stuff that you're not using. So um, most of this stuff out here, like that's going to like, get, we're gonna give this all this stuff away. That's, that pile of staying just this pile right here but all of this stuff is going so that's basically majority of what was back there and then inside my car we have the suitcases that we we're keeping i have a rug right there that we're not using right now i've got some chandeliers back there and 
couple of shoe boxes that she's I'm not wearing currently. So this is all going to the storage facility. Up here we have our extra set of mattress, queen, queen mattress and box spring that's also going to storage. It was in my office. If we were gonna make it a uh, like an, an office slash slash guest room, or if it was just gonna be my office, and um, we've just decided that's just gonna just stay being my office because I need all the space. Um, so we're getting rid of that and we're taking it to storage. So yeah, uh, it's not gonna look any pretty until like next. I, th I think this around this time next week is when they leave. They are, are coming on Friday the fifth or the sixth, and they leave on the eleventh. So they'll be here for quite a while, um, organizing everything. So my life is not going to be where I want it to be until week, but I'm really excited because we're almost there. So I'm gonna box all this stuff up, put it in bags so it can be ready for um, the people to come pick up. And that's the update. Let's go check on Davey and see what Dave, Daddy's doing. How do you feel about getting- How do I feel about getting organized? Yeah. Solid. It's cool. You need to change your face, change your lifestyle. I really want to like change up our house. Okay, so after that, we did end up moving um, how our downstairs was set up. We basically ended up getting a bigger, like a new TV, um, and then we had it mounted on the other side, and we set it up with like, it's a big thing for us, because we're not, we're like really simple people, like we just could have the TV on a stand and whatever, but we got a TV, and we got it mounted, and we got wireless cable, <laughs> like we really kind of went all out, which is like, I'm kind of proud of us for like making, like, I feel like a grown up because I have a mounted TV, you know? <laughs> so we ended up changing everything around to make um, more space, like make it an open uh, setting in our living room slash our kitchen kind of thing, so that looks really nice now. Um, but this next clip is when the real fun gets started. Pinch of Me Help came all the way from Atlanta to fix my house, to really like get this thing looking bomb, y'all, bomb. Um, it's three of them, so it's Kira, which you'll all meet. Kira, Brittany is the head, she is the the go-to woman, the power woman, she just is gets the job done. So it's Brittany, her husband Chris, and Kira. I actually went to college at Elon with Kira, so that's how we kind of got connected. Um, because she worked with them and they offered their services to come here. So they um, are based in Atlanta, but they travel all over the place and they wanted to really show that they can travel and they can take care of your uh, your place if you like what they do. And you don't live in Atlanta or in the surrounding areas, they do travel, they do an amazing job, you guys. Um, I'll go into explain more at the end about how awesome they were, but let's just go ahead and get into this part of the video. I'm just going to go ahead and go in and do my little intro to introducing them, and then I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the before and afters and everything, because um, that's probably why you're all here anyways. So I'm super excited for you guys to see it. Ah, it's just so good. Okay, let's go. Alright, so we're back. I don't even know what day I'm in and me getting my life together, but we, um, it is March 6th, I believe. So the next step in this getting our life together is getting our house organized um, and pretty much kind of having a system and, and making our house more home since we're going to be living here for another year. Um, with that, I have brought in some help. Obviously, I couldn't do this myself at all. Um, but I, a friend of mine I went to college with, she works for this company called Pinch of Help and they reached out um, offering to help organize Damien and I's house. They traveled to the bay and they just got here like, I want to say like an hour ago. Um, so I'm going to introduce you guys to them and we're going to get this party going. So they're out here. <laughs> What I miss? <laughs> okay, so this is the pinch of help team. Chris, Kira, and Brittany. They before they got here, um, they had sent over pretty much everything they need to get our life back in order, um, and they pretty much took over our entire garage. So this is cool. I'll figure out what they have. I don't know. What you tell me what you're doing? Yeah. So did the rise on the palette. You know, we're just gonna get it all open so we know kind of where we want to use what. And so start to just separate things out um, so that when we're ready to come, just grab what we need, we know what it is. Um, Cause yeah. you know, they package it up. But yes, so we're thankful to iDesign. I they sponsored all of this for you. So. We, we love 
a good brand that really likes to help us out. You know, exactly. we, I'll, I'll link below like everything that we end up using in this entire video. It's probably gonna be like eight years long. <laughs> but everything that I talk about in this video, Pinch of Hell, I'll put their um, IGs and everything down below. Tag or put uh, I design down below. Um, Rinse as well, who I use for the laundry service, will be down below. Um, let's do a little montage. I'm back so I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into the reveals right now and that's what you've all been waiting for um, we're gonna start with the um, main one like the biggest one which is the office like that was probably the hardest space for them to possibly have done and I tell you guys that like I just kind of started throwing stuff in here I'm actually in the office right now because I just didn't know where I wanted to put it we don't we live in like a little townhouse, so it's a great space. It has enough space for just the two of us, um, but we needed to figure out how to optimize space in all of our, um, in, like in our house. Uh, our closets really aren't that big, but we do have quite a few closets. So along with my office being a, supposed to be like an actual room, turning it into an office space slash a place for me to put some clothes, um, and then I have a closet in our bedroom as well. Damien has three closets because we do have quite a lot of clothes. Like, it just is what it is. And we do give away clothes all the time. You, I, this During, at the end of all of this, I'm pretty sure I gave away like three, four big bags of clothes um, that I just didn't wear anymore that I wanted to give away. So just another disclaimer, I know I have to, oh, I don't have to, but I feel like I do because I like, sometimes get a lot of people like, why are you doing all this stuff? Why do you have all this? I do do my due diligence and I do give back a lot of clothes um, that I'm not using. I'm not hoarding any of this stuff either. So that's just that. But, so they basically were able to turn a lot of our closets into optimal space uh, for our clothes and our shoes especially. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for this. I want, again, just thank you to Pinch of Help and let's get into the, re to the reveals. I hope you guys enjoy it and yeah.
Yep. Yeah. So that is everything that's our home right now. Um, wanted to make a note that they did show me how to like file fold and stuff. So that's the easier way for everything to like fit where they should be. The, he does not a file fold. I do not a file fold. <laughs> but I'll be the one folding. I'm a file fold and she'll put it away. When? <laughs> Anyways, we wanted to say thank you together to Pinch of Help because you guys really have <laughs> I always say like pinch of help. Pinch of help. <laughs> pinch, dude, pinch of help. <laughs> pinch of help. Um, because you guys were more than just a pinch of help. You guys literally transformed all of our space into something very easy to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really great to work with. They literally showed up early in the morning didn't leave till late because they were just working obviously it was hard spaces especially this room but they got it done and I could not be happier I know he probably he showed his excitement a lot more than I did I didn't get those reactions on camera just because it was a lot going on but he was so excited he loves all of his spaces um, and yeah they make it really easy for you to continue being organized as the day goes on so hope you guys enjoyed this video Hope you guys liked watching us get our lives together. Yeah, you know I'm sorry. And we'll see you in the next. Oh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>